showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. So, uh, you guys have probably already heard by now, there has been huge rule changes in the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. This is incredibly exciting news. I'm absolutely loving it. I couldn't wait to get home and make this video. If you've been watching your Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube subscription uh, today, whether it's been Asian Eyes, Vexicus, MCO40, Cyber Knight, you've probably already heard, but I figured I'd get my two cents on this because, I mean, this is just an incredible day. You know, um, first off, Konami actually decided, you know, to try to balance going first in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which I wholeheartedly applaud them for. You know, I've said it, you guys have known it for ages, that going first in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which is broke as shit, and, um, uh, there was just, they, they had to do something. I mean, I don't know, you know, how many things that they thought of that they could potentially tweak to going first, but I figured maybe something would eventually be in the works. I mean, when you go first, you get to set up your defense and play traps first. You get the special summon first. You see six cards before your opponent does. I mean, there's practically no reason to ever go second in this game, even if you're using a deck like Hieratic and you're not even running card card D. All you have to do is just pass, you know, just pass turn, knowing that you have the extra card every time that you start your uh, you start your draw phase that your opponent doesn't have. You know, but since going first now means you're only going to start with five cards, this changes everything. For starters, you know, um, there's actually a thought process into going first or second now. You know, you actually have to be able to, to weigh, you know, uh, being set up versus the extra card. And, you know, certain decks like Evil Swarm and Constellar, they might still want to pick first because getting the boss monster on the field, that's pretty much the win condition for them. You know, if you don't get that monster on field, you just, well, lose. I mean, and I think it's really going to be interesting, not only in mirror matches, which are just going to be crazy, you know, but uh, I think that there you're going to see times where people lose game one and still decide to go second. Like, that's inconceivable in this game, you know, because you look at side decking. Side decking can usually come down to, you know, who hits their side cards first and who hits them more often. You know, at least games two and three, and if you have that extra card, that's just one more chance that you have of getting that lockdown card out of your side deck or getting that card that changes the comp that changes the duel over completely, even if you can't activate it, you know, uh, immediately. The second rule change, as you guys know, uh, is about field spells, and now both players can control field spells at the same time. Um, this seems like something that should have been in place since the beginning of the game. I mean. I think that there is nothing stupider than when you've got a field spell and you're really rolling and it's all working, everything's coming together with your deck, and rather than actually try and find a skillful counter to what you're doing, or rather than, you know, relying on spell and trap destruction, which they might side in or main deck, and, you know, just playing, just playing skillfully, your opponent just says, you know, activate my field spell and yours just goes away, and it's like, well, fuck, I mean, I don't think a ton is actually going to change from this as far as the competitive circuit i mean i think that decks that rely on field spells like um harpies grave keepers and dark world i think that they can breathe a little easier against certain matchups like you know if um in the past dragoonity was playing against dark world and they'd have to play this little lame ass game of don't play my field spell before they play theirs and it was just it it made the duel stagnant it was just really really stupid you know i think that harpy's hunting ground is going to be like fucking nuts now <laughs> i mean because now you can just like your opponent can have their field spell out and that's great and you can play your hunting ground summon a card pop theirs and you know you still and that that's like it's a, it's a more skillful way of accomplishing what you could have accomplished earlier because now you're popping their card actually involved you using your field spell. And um, close Forest, I mean, is that card pretty much like fucking useless now? Because like your opponent can just, you can draw close Forest and your opponent can already have a field spell activated and your close Forest won't kill theirs. So it's like, I think close Forest, which at its height was like a $30 card. I mean, basically it's toilet paper now, but... Yeah, what do you guys think about this? I think that this whole going first, only getting five cards, this is a really big deal. I think that not only, you know, our decks going to um are going to basically mandate, you know, whether you go first or second, but just it, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, uh, if you have players that maybe they play a deck that generally likes to go first, if they're going to start picking second just because that's their nature. Like me personally, I, practically with any deck, I'm I'm going to go second because I want the extra card. I've always thought, you know, uh, if I have five cards and you have four, 
you know, I have a better chance of winning the duel than you do, you know, so that's just the way that I've always thought. I'm an advantage player. I don't ever think that I'm going to change. So, you know, me personally, I'm going second all day and night, but that's not to say that I can't run something where I go set five, you know, or set four, summon Ryo pass, and you're just like, oh, crap, you know, so let me know what you guys think of this. It's an, it's an incredible day, and um, yeah, it's going to be interesting if uh, this comes to play in June. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribing makes life happy.